In this video, I'll be showing you how I created an entire movie trailer using absolutely free AI tools only, turning simple idea into a complete full-blown live movie. Yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the first thing we need to do is generate the script for our movie. Now, in order to do this, we're going to be using ChatGPT. So now, as you can see, I'm using GPT 3.5, which is available for free. And then once on ChatGPT, what you want to do is ask it this prompt. Give me a descriptive word, length, movie trailer about, explanation of your trailer and then you say for each trailer scene I want you to give me an image prompt idea and then the voiceover for each image so I'll leave this prompt in the description you can just copy and paste it but then you need to fill in the prompt so first things first I'm going to say I want an intense and then I'll say the length of it since it's a trailer I'm going to say 20 second movie trailer about and then over here is where I'm going to explain exactly what I want my movie to be about this is where it can be super creative so feel free to have a lot of fun with this section right as much or as little as you want so as you can see this is what i said i want my movie trailer to be about it's a space exploration journey to a planet but turns out the planet already had humans living for hundreds of years i think that's a movie i would watch so i totally want to create a trailer about that and then over here as you can see that's the last part of our prompt so once you've done that all you need to do now is hit enter so now as you can see ChatGPT has gone ahead and generated us the entire movie trailer and looking at the options it gave us as you can see a shot of a spaceship starting through the vast darkness of space perfect and then over here it says this is what the voiceover says so we have exactly what we need for our trailer we don't have to think of anything it tells us exactly what you need to do once you've done that and you have your video idea, it's time to move on to the next step. So now that we have the script, the next thing we need to do is generate the voiceover in a world. Yeah, that one. So in order to generate this, we're going to come on over to 11 Labs. You can find the link for 11 Labs in the description below. And note well if 11 Labs, you can pay or you can get free credits to start. So in order to generate the voiceover, the first thing you need to do is find the perfect trailer voice. Now, in order to do this, what you want to do in the settings here, as you can see, if you click this drop down arrow, there's many different voices you can use from. What you want to do is play every single one of these voices until you find the one that fits well for your video. So the voice I decided to use was Alfred. As you can see, it says it's deep and captivating and super deep, which is exactly what you want. Now, after you've selected a voice, you can click over here where it says voice settings and you can further edit it if you want, but it's all up to you. Once you've done that, now you need to actually put in a script in this section that your voice actor will be saying. In order to do this, you want to head on back over to ChatGPT. And then as you can see, we see our scripts. What you want to do? is copy your script, come back to 11 Labs, paste it in. You go back to ChatGPT, you copy your next voiceover script, come back to 11 Labs and paste it in. And then you want to continue doing that everywhere it says voiceover until you have all your voiceover scripts pasted into 11 Labs. And now as you can see, I have my full script pasted in. Once you have your script pasted in, all you need to do now is hit generate and then 11 Labs will go ahead and generate the entire voiceover for you. And then once 11 Labs has completed your voiceover, all you need to do is come to the bottom here and click this icon and then your voiceover will be downloaded to your computer. So do you want to hear what it sounds like? Because it sounds pretty cool. I don't want to show you too much, but I'll give you a little taste of what our buddy Alfred sounds like. In the darkest reaches of the cosmos, humanity embarks on an epic journey to the unknown. That's all. That's all. I'm sorry, I can't show you guys everything yet, can I? Now that we have our scripts ready and our voiceover ready, now we need to generate the actual clips, sceneries for our movie. So I know you know and I know that this is a movie about space and I can't go to space right now to get the scenes for this. Or can I? No, I can't, but it's okay because I know a way that I can do that. Technically, we're going to generate the clips from my imagination or should I say ChatGPT's imagination, and turn it into reality. So what would we need to do is turn this text into a full-blown video. And I know what you're thinking, but that's not possible, but it is. Hold on, buckle in your seat belts because you're about to be absolutely amazed. So in order to do this, we need to first turn this text into an image. We first need to see what we'll be generating. In order to do this, we're going to be using Stable Diffusion. Now it's completely free to use. I'll leave the link for it in the description. But once on Stable Diffusion, we need to ask it for what it is that we want to generate. So we'll be using this first one over here. And it seems to me for this first section, we're looking at getting two types of images. The first one being a spaceship 
soaring through space so we're literally going to go ahead and copy this we're going to come back over to stable diffusion and then we're actually going to paste it in but we can't keep it with the trailer begins so we're just going to take this part out and now we're going to leave it like this so once you have your prompt of what you want it to generate you need to click on this three little lines here and then you need to play with these options for the style we want it to be cinematic after all we are making like a movie so you know you know <laughs> secondly we need to do the aspect ratio and we're going to go ahead and search 16 by 9 widescreen and now that we've done that we can go ahead and hit generate and see what it's generated for us and fingers crossed it gives us something good so now as you can see it's given us four different options that we can choose from and out of all of these options i really like this one so when you find an option that you like you need to download it and in order to download it you're going to go over here where it says download and click download and then just like that it will be downloaded onto your pc and now we need to generate the other image for our first scene we're going to click onto where it says back we're going to delete this then we're going to come back on over to ChatGPT, and then we're going to copy this again we're going to come back to stable diffusion and paste it in and now we can go ahead and edit this to fit what exactly it is that we want to generate and now as you can see it's given us the entire prompt for our second image and then hit generate so now as you can see it's given us four different images once again to work with and i think i'm going to select this one because i like how it seems like it's really approaching that planet so i'm going to go ahead and click download and now i have both of the images downloaded for my first scene of my trailer so now that i have my images can i go ahead and put that in my trailer no because i don't know the last time when i saw a movie trailer with static images instead we need to turn these images into moving videos and i know you're thinking wait hold up monique what do you mean oh sweetie prepare to have your mind blown i'm gonna show exactly how you can turn these images into reality so in order to do this you're actually going to be using this tool called p collapse i'll leave the link again for this in the description so you could find it but what you want to do on this page is over here you're going to want to click where it says join beta now once on p collapse it's gonna take you to this section once on this section i know discord sometimes scare people but don't be scared it's pretty easy what you want to do is come to this side and then you see where it says creations you're going to want to click any single one of these rooms so i'm going to go ahead and click number nine now what you want to do in this section over here where it says message you now want to begin generating a video so the first thing you want to do is do slash creates and once you've done this you're going to click this one and now from here it's going to ask you to add in a prompt and your image so what i like to do first is add in my image in order to do this you want to click where it says plus one more click on image and then you're going to locate the image that we just downloaded from stable diffusion and now you can see voila we have our image in so now click here where it says prompts and now we need to ask the prompt for our images. Now prompts with Pika is a little bit different than how you would ask prompts for ChatGPT. But trust me, it's not difficult. So the prompts I'm going to be asking is this one. And I know you're saying, oh gosh, Monique, I'm out of here. This looks too hard. No, trust me, it's very simple. The first part of your prompt, as you can see over here, talks about what is in your image and what you want to happen in your image. So as you can see, I've said spaceship flying through space and then stars twinkling. It's that easy for the first part. Now the second part over here is how you actually get your image to move. Now it can be way more complicated than this, but I find this is all you need to really get some great results. So the first thing is what resolution you want your video to come out in. I'll just go ahead and say 4K. You can say 720p, 1080p, whatever you want to do. This second part here talks about how accurate I want my video to look in regards to the text that I set over here. So I said it wants to be 22% accurate. The scale goes from 1 to 24. And over here, all I'm saying is how I want my camera to move. In this case, I want my camera to pan left and down. So it's going to do this movement for my image. And lastly, this over here, which says motion, it just says how aggressive, how intense I want that camera motion to be. It's on a scale of 1 to 4. And I know you're thinking, oh, Monique, this is too hard. Never say that it's too hard because I'm going to be leaving this screenshot on screen so you can see exactly how you can put your prompts together and it also has an example of what a prompt could look like you don't even have to know how to do this you can simply copy and paste i've made it very easy for you but once you have your prompt down all you need to do is hit enter and now as you can see all i need to do now is wait for pika to generate my image and fingers crossed i'm hoping it comes out really good so now as you can see pika has generated us a video let's see what it looks like oh my god do you see that do you see how it's turned this stagnant image 
into this video look how my look how my ship is moving tell me that you don't think that this is impressive this is absolutely insane did i not say that you're about to have your mind blown but we're not done yet once you have gotten your video you need to download it and in order to download it it's very simple once you put your mouse on the video over here you'll see this little download option all you need to do is click download now the one thing that you do need to note about pika labs is unfortunately that it can only generate clips that are three seconds long but as you can see it's more than enough to get you what you need for the most part but now that we've done this for our first image i need to do the exact same thing for my second image so i'm going to go ahead and paste the exact same prompt that i used the first time but all i'm going to do is simply change a few things so now all i've done is i've changed it to spaceship flying fast through space approaching planets and i've changed the camera movement to rotate counterclockwise so now we can go ahead and hit enter to see what we get okay so now it's done let's see what this looks like Ooh, that looks whoa okay whoa let's replay this yo look how it even generated the rest of the planet and we didn't even have that in our image see what i'm telling you impressive but now i can go ahead and download my image and that's how you go about taking your idea from chat gpt turning it into an image and then making it into a whole video now of course it may not be the most perfect video you've ever seen but i want to see you go to space and try to get this clip you can't so now that you know how to do it what you want to do is go ahead and do it for your entire script and get all the images all the videos that you need to generate your movie so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now and now that is the last scene now once you've done this for all the scenes you're done and remember guys you may have to generate your images and videos a few times before you get the ones you want because ai isn't perfect but you can choose the perfect choice for you now what's the next important thing you see in trailers? Music. We need to generate music. This time to generate the music, what we're going to be using is Google Music LM. All you want to do is search for this in Google and then click onto this one. And then you can click get started and it's going to log you in. Now, yeah, we're about to be using AI to generate a soundtrack for our movie trailer. And in order to do this, it's actually quite simple. All you need to do is select the kind of music you want it to generate. That's all we've been doing today, guys tell an AI what we want and they've been doing the work we've just been sitting back and relaxing so the prompt i'm going to ask is this intense music for a movie trailer about a space exploration gone bad start off low and increasingly increase speed towards end with more drums ending abruptly and then i'm simply going to hit enter and see what it says so when it comes to generating music this isn't quite my special suit but as you can see it's gone ahead and generated me the first one so let's see what this sounds like it's okay but it's not quite what i wanted if you look below they give me two options so let's click track number two to see what that one sounds like no it's not quite so again i'm gonna play around with this until i get the sound that i feel like would work perfect for my trailer after i tested a few of them i couldn't quite find what i wanted so i decided to come on over to ChatGPT and ask it to give me a prompt i could ask the music ai to generate me what i wanted and then it gave me this big paragraph and i just copied some of it what i liked and so now let's see if this will generate us what we're looking for i like this this is a winner so in order to download this it is track number one so i'm gonna go ahead and click onto the three buttons click download and now my music has been downloaded straight onto my laptop so as you can see if when you try to generate it yourself you can't find exactly what you want just go on over to ask ChatGPT to tell you how to generate it so now we have our scripts our clips our voiceover and our music we have everything needed to create an amazing movie all using free ai tools so now what's the last thing that's left to do put all our ai generated clips together in order to put it together you need to use a video editor you can use whichever one you choose for but for the sake of this i'm going to use the one that i used to edit my videos which is davinci resolve the first thing you need to do is import all your media and then once you've imported your media you need to now put them together in the scene in accordance to how ChatGPT said to you can just come on over to ChatGPT and then see what it said the first one says the sleek spaceship soaring 
and approaching the distant planet. So you, we know which was the two ones we did to generate this. So we're going to come back to our editor and then locate these two. So now that they've been added in, we need to make sure that it's only over the part that it was supposed to be over. So we're going to come back on over to ChatGPT and see what it says. It's supposed to be in this full sentence. So now we need to go back to our editor and play it and see if it stops at that sentence. Epic journey to the unknown. As you can see, it ends right where it was supposed to. And now that's all you need to do. Grab your images and add them into the scenery exactly where they were supposed to be added in. So I'm going to do that now. So now as you can see, I've added in all the clips into the video. And I even added in our music. But unfortunately, I hate to say it, but it does not sound great with our scenery. I mean, AI did a good job. You guys heard it. It did a pretty great job, but just it's just not quite there yet so we're gonna cheat for this part what better way to get copyright free music than using something like pixabay what i did was i came on over to pixabay and simply searched for movie trailer music intense as you can see it gave me over 110 options and then i just listened to a bunch of them and downloaded the one i wanted and that's the one i've decided i'm going to add into my video instead you could use the ai track if it generated something good if not feel free to cheat and use copyright free music i won't judge you okay it'll be our little secret okay i'm finally done now ladies and gentlemen Welcome to my theater. In the darkest reaches of the cosmos, humanity embarks on an epic journey to the unknown to uncover the secrets of a world shrouded in mystery. But what they discover will challenge everything they thought they knew. A civilization not of extraterrestrial See that music getting origin, better? but of human descent, thriving for centuries. Strangers in a strange land, they discover that they are not alone in a world beyond their wildest dreams. But as trust begins to unravel, friendship turns into rivalry, and the battle for survival begins. They came in search of our so they may leave with only one choice prepare for that to get out of the like no other coming soon in just wow round of applause people clap that was amazing now i'm no professional cinematographer but i will say if i took more time on this i could really see the potential to create stuff that's great like truly amazing we started with one single prompt generate me a movie about a space adventure tell me that ai isn't great so now i want to talk about why exactly did i make this video well i made this video for two and two reasons only the first reason being i wanted to prove to you guys to all of you who say that whatever ai creates isn't good ai can't create something great well what was that that was great the possibilities with ai is absolutely endless it all depends on how creative you want to get and how much time you want to spend on your videos and the second reason is for those of you who've made it this far you can apply this to elevate your faceless youtube channel game well 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 here we are again at the end but wait do not click off yet because if you want to learn more from me then you need to check out this other video on my channel